Hey guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode series. Ladies and gentlemen, today we kick off things with a game against Spurs in the FA Cup semi-finals. Of course, if you missed the last episode, we played Spurs in the league. I'm not going to ruin the result because maybe a few of you didn't see it, uh, but go ahead and check it out because we were both undefeated going into that North London derby. And it's back-to-back -back North London derbies. Let's take a look at the FA Cup semi-final bracket because it's ourselves versus Spurs. And I believe it's Man City taking on West Ham United. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting. Four very good teams. Four teams that are looking to win this FA Cup. Four teams that can go ahead and win this cup. Three London teams, one Manchester team. So very, very interesting to see who will end up in the final. But we would love to be there. We'd love to get the Capital One Cup and be fighting for the FA Cup. And if we win the league, we could have our own little domestic treble here, which I did not expect at all at the start of this season. So we want to be in there. We want to be in there with a chance. But more importantly, we don't want Spurs to be in there. We don't want Spurs winning a piece of silverware. So let's try and halt them and let's try and at least get to the final. That'd be very, very nice uh, to see who we'd face in the final. You'd assume Man City would get in there, but with cup football, you never know. Uh, and West Ham are a very good team as well. So you can never write them off. But let's go ahead and see what the lineup's going to be going into this game against Spurs. But before we do that, if you're excited for today's episode, make sure you smash a like on the video. 120 likes would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for the support that you show me. I do appreciate it every single time. I see a video. I see the likes. I see the comments. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Honestly, I appreciate it. Okay, I've gone for this starting 11. It's Benzema up front with Fakir behind him. Oxley chamberlain Conor Plianka. On the wings with Verratti and Ramsey making up the midfield two. Gaia Laporte, Davis and Bellerin as a back for Petacek in between the sticks. Last time we played Welbeck up front on his own and he played well. And last episode we also played Fakir up front on his own and he played well. So it's time for Benzema to step up. This is the starting 11 boys. Let's get into this game against Spurs and let's hopefully get a similar result to the last game. That's all I'll say. Let's get into it. Uh, did I say this game was at the Emirates? Because it's obviously at Wembley. It's the semi-final, so we're already at Wembley. I think I might have said it was at the Emirates, but it's not. Chamberlain cuts in on his left-hand side. Good work from Chamberlain. He plays that through to Fakir. Don't you dare tell me Fakir. He's offside. Good bit of one-two play. Chamberlain can't get on the end of his tried cutting that back. And that should have been 1-0. Nice and early in this game. Good bit of play. What's Nabil going to do? Who's he got? Who's he going to find? He's going to do it himself, it looks like. Nabil Fakir slots that to Ramsey. 1-0. Easy as you like, Fakir just making things happen. And under 10 minutes, we've gone 1-0 up here against Spurs. My goodness gracious, great run from Nabil. Didn't have any options, but didn't waste the ball either. Just bided his time, just sort of waited for the right moment. And what a run. Ramsey, arguably offside. I don't know, I haven't really... I can't really see that from a good angle, but he was pretty fucking close to the net. So you'd assume that he was near offside. So maybe there's a call there for Spurs, but nevertheless, 1-0 and a good bit of play here. Ramsey getting on the score sheet. Good work, my son. Oh, Benzema just snatches it off them. He's going to go for the long shot. Karim! Good save from Sillison. Gaia plays that through to Verratti. What's Marco going to do? He's going to cut in on his right. Who's he got? Who's he going to find? He's going to go all on his own. Good save from Sillison for Kia running in. And it's unfortunately a goal kick, but a decent chance there to make a 2-0. Nabil Fakir lays that off to Ramsey. Ramsey back to Nabil Fakir. Good bit of play between the two. Fakir from outside the box. Fuck me dead. Nabil. My goodness gracious, Nabil. What a finish. Wow. Fakir has stepped up this second half of the season. I've got to be honest with you. And if I was ranking our strikers right now, I don't know about you guys, but I'd go Welbeck, Fakir, Benzema. Who would have thought that that would be the ranking for our three strikers? What a finish from Nabil. Taking my hat off to you if I was wearing one, but I'm not. And it's just, it's too easy for Nabil. 2-0. Spurs, where are you at, mate? Where are you at? Fakir to Benzema. Benzema to Fakir. Oh, Nabil Fakir. Beautiful running, but he just didn't have enough pace at the end. And Chamberlain nearly puts that in the back of the net. My God. Filip Djordjevic. Oh my god. I think I may have just killed Djordjevic. Maybe. Don't give me a red, please. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, Verratti. Oh, Verratti, yes. Oh my god, the pass as well. My goodness, the pass. Benzema, mate, just tuck it in the back of the net. What is wrong with you? There it is, full time. 2-0 here at Wembley in the FA Cup 
semi-finals, and we are going through the finals with a dominant performance against Spurs. Even more dominant than the last game. I, I can't even remember one thing that Spurs did in that game. And we are showing the, the divide in class, how much better we are than Spurs, despite being first and second. And we have just played so much better than them. 11 shots, 8 on target for us, with 49% possession, 3 shots, 1 on target for Spurs, 51% possession. I really don't remember if they had anything that challenged check. Maybe they did, I don't remember, but we completely dominated them, playing with such confidence and almost arrogance at times. Just doing fancy flicks when we don't have to. It's just, oh, it's, it's fantastic. Honestly, it's fantastic. The passes, the, the flair of the team was on point today. And we are going to the final. Who's it going to be against? We're going to find out right now. All right, and as expected, uh, we'll be facing Manchester City in the FA Cup final next episode, which is also the finale for this season. And uh, we have a chance to win a treble. Even though it's a domestic treble, it's still a treble. Capital One Cup, FA Cup, and Premier League. That would be something else. Right, our next game is an away game against Everton, a game that I'm actually going to play uh, because Everton are a tough team and they sit in seventh at the moment. Our, our last few games in the Premier League are quite easy. I don't really feel like we should necessarily have to play any of them, uh, but I do want to save a game for the next episode to play along with the FA Cup final and I want to play another game today. I don't want to give you guys a one game episode, so we'll get into this game against Everton uh, who aren't an easy team to defeat. Let's not, you know, consider this a, an easy game. Um, um, so it will be difficult and we could potentially drop points here, but I'm not looking to do that We're playing fantastic. Honestly, we are playing some of the best football we have all season Okay, there's no reason to really rest anybody So I've gone with a full strength lineup with Welbeck, Ozil, Conor Plecker, Campbell, Verratti, Pjanic, Gaia, Laporte, Davis, Bellerin and Czech Probably our strongest starting 11 off if I'm honest just on performances Maybe Fakir is making a name for himself and could potentially get into our best team um, but that's the team I'm rolling with. It looks very, very solid, and we should be pulling out a result here against Everton. Without further ado, it's Arsenal and Everton at Goodison Park. Not an easy place to go, uh, but hopefully we'll pull out all three points and continue to get a lead on Spurs. McCarthy, whoa. Settle down, mate. It's Delafeu now, one of the most dangerous players here on this Everton side. What's he going to do? Gaia showing him the byline and wins the goal kick as well. Fantastic defending from Jose Gaia. Cutting in on his left. He's a very dangerous player. It ends up with Ross Barkley. Do not let him have room, boys. I don't know why he didn't take the long shot, but he could have had that, I reckon. Oh, yes, Joel. Yes, Joel. Just rip them apart. Just shred them apart, Joel. Lays that off to Verratti. Verratti, bang that one. Oh, what a save from Robles. Verratti now. He's going to loft that over to Danny Welbeck. If he can get there in time, he can. Good running from Welbeck. Finish that on your right, Welbeck. It was tough. He couldn't take the ball under control. Pressure with two defenders. I thought maybe he could just sneak that in the, in the left-hand side of the goal. Sorry. Too much power on it, but Danny, good bit of running. Gets done by Campbell. Campbell lays it off to Nabil. Nabil lays that off to Verratti. What's Verratti going to do? He's going to put that back on Bellerin. Bellerin. To Campbell. Here we go, boys. Potentially the last game. Last chance of the game. Campbell on his left. Not a very good shot, but it forces a save from Robles. More than we've done all game, to be honest. And there it is, full time. Nil, nil here at Goodison Park. A, a game of good defenses, if I'm honest. I don't think it was a dull game to play. But there's not going to be that many highlights, if I'm honest. And they're mostly defensive highlights of our defense and Everton's defense really performing well. We had a few half chances, a few decent chances, but nothing too serious. Uh, Yaya Sano goes at Everton. Um, but yeah, just, I don't know, a very good defensive performance from both teams. As you can see, one shot, nine on target for Everton to our three shots, one on target. Really, as I said before, both teams cancelling each other out. And Everton are a pretty decent defensive team, at least in real life they're not really, but they used to be. So, not a bad performance, I don't think. Um, but the result is not how we'd expect it to go. But even if Spurs have won, we still have a one-point lead against them. But we can't be drawing too many games. And a win here would have put us in a very good position. So, I think this is our toughest game of the season, to be honest. Everton away. Um, we wrap up the season with three home games as well. I think our only away game left is a game against Bournemouth. So... I think we're looking very good at the moment. I think this was our toughest game left of the season. And we got the nil-nil. We got the point. And I, I honestly, I don't, I'm not too upset with that. I think that's a pretty decent result. Right, we'll wrap the episode here. And as you can see, Spurs did end up winning their game. Which means it's a one-point margin between the two teams with four games left. And as I said before, we have uh, an away game against Bournemouth. 
and then three home games to wrap up the season. Um, so those three home games, I think, are guaranteed wins. The game against Bournemouth, we're going to be simulating. We don't know how that's going to turn out. But I, it, again, it's in our hands. All we got to do is get the performances and get the results, and I think we can do it. Next episode is the last episode for Season 1, boys. We'll be playing a game in the Premier League. I don't know which one, and we'll also be playing the FA Cup Final. So at the end of next episode, we could potentially be completing our treble. If you're excited for that, make sure you smash a like on the video. 120 likes would be absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys and your support has been crazy. Thank you so much. It'll be us against Manchester City in the FA Cup Final, which is a huge one. And uh, it's a very tight race at the top. We're still haven't... Just because we beat Spurs does not mean we've confirmed that we're going to be Premier League champions. So we've got to pull out the results next episode. we got to do the job in the next four games. And we got to get the performances and the results in the next four games. That's it from me, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Keep it real.